Hi there, I've been doing a bit of maintenance on the steering on the Land Rover Series 2A. Um, what I've done is I've swapped out the, um, the steering relay down here and I've um, put a new uh, tie rod end on the drag link on either end. You can see up there the one that attaches down to the steering box. So yeah, that, that's all, all new there. So that sort of completes um, I guess the steering overhaul, which is kind of nice. Um, I started a few years ago actually and just did the easy parts. Um, so I did these uh, tie rod ends out here, um, put a new steering dampener in it. So this is just a quick rundown um, of basically how I think the steering system works and um, just a few things that have helped take a lot of that play out um, over time. So it used to be like have a lot of throw, a lot of play, um, but just got to keep keep at it and work out where it's coming from exactly um, so yeah basically you've got your steering wheel which goes down the steering column and then down in under here you've got the steering box which is a little bit hard to see that's a point just down there you can see where the oil f fills in um, and there is a little adjustment that that made a huge difference that I adjusted a while back under here take this uh, this cover off here and there's a little um, screw in there but definitely get some good instructions on that because you can over tighten apparently and whatnot but that made a massive difference just getting that adjusted up correctly um, and then following that down you've got the the main uh, drag link um, which goes off the drop arm here off the side of the steering box and that's the tie rod end that I've just replaced it goes down to here um, and so that's a pushing forwards and backwards the steering box converts the the, the, the round um, motion to the forwards and back and then yeah it comes down across this little link here um, down to the relay and then the relay just fits through the chassis through there and that's the bottom of that and then across here to these um, the arm here but then goes down to the wheels and then there's a there's a um, connecting rod that connects the two. This one at the back that connects the two is what you wind in and out to get your front end alignment. The last part to the steering is the swivel pins which are in there. There's some little shims. I don't know too much about those but uh, when they were adjusted I didn't actually do that. It made a huge difference um, to the way it just tracked on the road. So what I'm doing is um, taking out the steering relay. I've got a new one of those. Following the instructions out of this book again. And um, yeah, really where I'm at too. I've also got a couple of these um, ball joint things left and right. A couple of tie rod ends. So at the moment, Sort of been unbolting it for a little while. Um, let's see what that's up to. And got that. Got that under there. It's all going pretty well so far. Still got to get to attack that with a grinder just to get that top of that off. The pin was all 
glided in there. Um, yes, yeah, so that's pretty good. A few years ago, I did a bit of work under here where I swapped out, well, basically all the easy parts. Pretty easy. Well, really, do things happen easier than you anticipate? Um, that just pulled straight out. I was anticipating getting a um, a jack and jacking it up from underneath with the right sort of uh, shape block or something but in the end just pulled straight out and appears just on quick inspection to be you know identical really got all the same numbers and whatnot so yeah put the new one in and yeah pretty happy with that it took a long time i finally got this right end out um it's the one on the edge of the steering box and yeah if you're a butcher like me you don't have the proper tool so i had to use a hammer and um because it was on the steering box, I didn't want to hit it very hard. The main point is uh, you don't need to hit the actual end, this thread, or even with the nut on, you need to hit the actual casting um, on the side to get that to release. Also, just given these a uh, quick coat of um, black paint while I've got them out. There's a left and a right hand thread on each end of these rods um, and the idea is for adjustment you can wind the rod around and that either makes the whole thing uh, shorter or longer depending on which way you want it. I got that steering relay in, that was a really hard job, um, wouldn't recommend that, that was no fun at all. And anyway, the bolts just wouldn't line up uh, in there, so I ended up uh, sort of honing out the, the new relay. Basically it just wasn't quite exactly the same, you know, it was, this, it was the same thing but all the holes didn't line up, so it was, yeah, pretty horrible. And you can see that's down there where that new, the end of the steering box is. Um, next thing I'm going to put this uh, link in. Well, there you have it just been out for a test run and yeah it's definitely better definitely a lot less play it's um still you know old landy steering but it's um uh, it's much better than it much better than it was so glad that's done thanks for watching